Alright, got the light on my camera today so you guys can see much better. Alright, rewiring this. In, well, a little bit of it. The negative from the inverter is now going to come from these three BMSs. Well, these two count as one because they're in parallel, but uh, not parallel series. So, I'm taking all the negatives of all these BMSs, put the negative outs, and it's going into the inverter. So, uh, now it will balance on the discharge and on the charge. And that's what I want to do. Alright, this looks like a big pile of mess, but it's messily organized. Uh, we got the inverter. Negative now, coming into this BMS board here. And then these BMS boards are going to the same spot here, these two wires. One from this BMS board, this BMS board, and there. This BMS board will take the brunt of it, but it also remember that this sm fairly small wire, uh, two, two 12 gauge wires is going into the BMS board, so that'll have a little bit of resistance, about the same as everything here. So, And it's not like I'm pulling a ton of current with this thing. 40 amps is all this will see, so this connection might see a peak of 40 amps if I try to run something crazy big, but I don't want to blow these BMS boards anyway, so we're going to start with the heater. There is our watt meter that we're going to go by, go to watt, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be touching these uh, BMS boards to see if they get warm. But here we go. Okay, this is just the fan. 26 watts, no problem. Now this is with the heater on. I can't do this for too long because my battery voltage is only at 50 volts, so it's on the edge of shutting down. Everything seems okay. Everything still seems okay. Connection's nice and cold. Oh, one thing I want to do. Alright, so I just resumed the heater. I paused it for a second because I wanted to get my DC clamp meter in here. So this is what the BMS are seeing amp-wise. I believe these are rated uh, 20 amps each, and this one's rated for, uh, it's 20 or 25. So I got 60 amps total, and between all the BMS shared, they're only taking about 12 amps. We got 50 volts. All right, now let's go to high, see what happens. Okay, we are on high. So now we're pulling 30 amps from the BMS boards. So we're, sorry, I'm not, uh, I'm paying too much attention to my BMS boards. Everything's good. Still good. Cold as can be as of now. I think these are going to have no problem handling uh, this like this with all these put together. So 30 amps, that's all they got to do all together. My solder joint isn't even a tiny bit warm. But I'm going to keep an eye on this for a while. And, uh, but. Yeah, that seems pretty good. That's one thing nice about 60 volts. I'm going to turn this off because actually my battery is going dead. But as you can see, it is a 1500-ish watt heater. Turn on a fan. Might as well not waste the heat. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little update. I'm now pulling and charging through my BMS ports. This messy stack. Can't wait to... Disassemble everything. I'm bought, I just bought uh, 80 
um, little connectors for this. I'm not going to use these. Might use the wire. I'm going to cut the wire. Might use some of these. Cut the wire here or wherever I need to so it's all the right length. I want it all to be, just be little loops. Little loops. So it looks really nice.